Hello and welcome to my presentation on the Organization Cybersecurity Policy and Executive Summary on Ginger IT. There are various different standards. However, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, and the International Organization for Standards are the premier frameworks for standards in the cyber community. NIST follows five main stages, which is identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. These are the five stages that should be followed to maintain a proper security and posture to best protect all organizations. ISO was primarily developed to help an organization um, semantize cybersecurity controls that they may have developed to cover particular situations or compliances needed into full-fledged information cybersecurity management systems. The NIST cybersecurity framework is essentially to ensure the best security posture in cybersecurity infrastructure that the framework has five core functions. Previously mentioned, which are to identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover, cybersecurity life cycle also aligns with the NIST framework to establish the most secure program that supports Ginger IT's strategic objectives. Ginger IT will align with the NIST standards by implementing and securing monitoring solar wind, sol solar winds via helping determine devices that are online and if services are functioning properly, if websites are accessible as much as additionally monthly and map scanning, which will be performed to ensure that all devices on the network are verified and supposed to be on the internal network. Ginger IT will also deploy antiviruses, strict firewall rules, and deploy intrusion prevention systems that will help protect and detect any activities and changes on the network to alert administrators to any deltas or potential issues. This will also be done by quickly isolating affected devices and accounts, and then for recovering factory resets affected uh, factory reset affects devices and recovery backups. Ginger, sec Ginger IT will strive to ensure there is integrity, trust, confidentiality, and availability of information resources throughout the organization through our security policy. The security policy the organization is committed to following laws and regulations and prohibit any illegal activity knowing or unknowingly that affects security teams and the team effort involving the participation and support of every Ginger IT Inc. employee and affiliate who deals with information and or information systems and the responsibility of every computer user to know these guidelines and to cut conducts, conduct their activities according this policy follows this guidance. So these policies that we will be following would be onboarding and offboarding guidelines, acceptable use policy, social media use, technical mobile device information policy, and physical security. One thing that we will make sure that we have is a network diagram that provides the highest level of security and that will be enforced however variations in work environments will also be considered into adapting in modern working and updating this as the time goes by. Conditions of all remote and additional locations will be required. Some sort of virtual VPN, a uh, virtual private network VPN connection into the corporate network that will verify authentication and authorization in the connections and drops for any of the reasons of a user becoming invalid. They will lose access to these internal networks until correct training has been done or well external sources will have been traversed through demilitarized zones or DMZs, which host critical servers and communications that have to be redundant and more secure than their external facing uh, counterparts. These are external uh, facing firewalls and additional firewalls of intrusion prevention systems when exiting the DMZ and entering the internal corporate network. If an intruder breaks into this network, so do the fence and deep depth features will help prevent attacks and rapidly growing. Then we will move to our risk assessment, BIA and BCP. A business security when it comes to a BIA or business impact analysis and risk assessment will predict the consequences of Ginger IT because functions and processes disruption gather information needed to develop recovering strategies. 
Things that we'll take in consideration is making sure we have our scope, our threat catalog, and threat vectors. For our BIA, we'll consider analyzing various risks of the organization. And for our business continuity plan, evaluating for vulnerabilities and security controls throughout the organization. Various standards that we'll make sure that we are in compliance with will be OSHA, EEO, our security controls for tactical, physical, and administrative, laws to include any local, federal, and international laws if we begin doing work with overseas partners. Incident response and incident handling will follow as such. Procedures and SOPs will be conducted to observe, orient, decide, and act. Communication throughout leadership and the correct authorities, whether that be our local, state, or federal partners. This will also include third-party organizations, depending on so the incident for subcontractors versus customers of a need-to-know basis for leadership. Incident response and incident handling will be considered by the incident response team. This will be a on-call position with teams that will respond to any type of alerts or anything that would be pushed up to a tier two or tier three level. Communications such as call out and uh, communications from supervisors and C-suite executives will be made. Service expectations or service letter agreements will also be established to have a timeline or an estimated time of response. And then training the staff, training and staffing to ensure that these positions are well trained as well as up to date on more, most up to date tools to handle these type of incidents. Cyber, cyber awareness as well will be a huge part of the workplace to ensure that our employees are aware of the most up to date cybersecurity um, phishing attempts, hacks, things that are driving uh, any competitors or hackers to try to infiltrate or get into our systems. Um, phishing emails, click links, uh, phishing holes, phishing campaigns. We'll do our best to continue that training to make sure they're up to date on all the most up to date threats. And in conclusion, we will make sure that we're maintaining our compliance levels with uh, quarterly audits, implementing new and up to date training, uh, and ensuring that we have a strong cybersecurity framework, uh, making sure we have a heightened security posture so that we are a hardened target and investing in resources and training to ensure our company is staying up to date and uh, out of the uh, public eye in a negative aspect for falling through the lines of an incident or a cyber threat. I want to thank you so much for your time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.